was walking out one evening late The moon was rising high Headed for the river's side Around us fuss and fry Patrol man, he walked by Asked me where I'm going Said if the sun set on me It's feeling a little better it's a parsnip. It's a parsnip. Actually, it's wow. two hands holding an eagle's feather, which okay. is a representation of my appreciation for eagles. <laughs> Just kidding. Good morning, guys. We're uh, making some lattes this morning, and then we're going to be dividing and conquering because we've got a lot to do today. Who is it, Lika? Again. Is there a baby up here? Oh, big stretch. Best part of anyone's day right there. <sighs> Good morning, guys. We slept really well. We have been in kind of a groove lately, and Leo is starting to understand that nighttime is for sleeping. Unfortunately, this comes at the same time as him starting to roll over, which is really exciting. He's about 10 and a half weeks old, and he's been rolling from his belly to his back. Not the other way, but from his belly to his back, which means we have to stop swaddling him at night when he's sleeping. And that is a huge bummer because we've just figured out the best swaddle combination for him to sleep almost all the way through the night. Um, but it's really dangerous to swaddle a baby once they've learned how to roll over because um, they can like suffocate and it could be really bad. So we have to start transitioning out of the swaddle, but for now, we're really soaking in the last, that last little bit of good sleep with a swaddle. And hopefully once we transition out of a swaddle, he'll still sleep through the night, fingers crossed. So this is kind of our new morning routine. We wake up, we make some lattes, Leo nurses. Normally he doesn't have a cloth over his head. He's not super enjoying that right now. Um, and then we get to work. There's so much to do on the house still. And it's exciting because it's kind of like the fun stuff that we get to build after the fact while we're living in the house. Today we have to finish up these cabinets. So I think Trent is going to head to the bathroom really quickly and then hit the road, head down to the shop and continue making face frames and doors for the cabinets in the laundry room. Leo and I are gonna stay back here and tag team painting, um, trying to get the inside of the cabinets painted as much as possible. And hopefully by the end of today, we can make a lot more progress on finishing up these cabinets once and for all. Is this thing on? Yes, sir. How dare you secretly record me? <laughs> Anyway, she's gonna stay here and hopefully get some of this painted. Last time we were like, all right, paint this while we run to Home Depot. And she- Be nice. She didn't get much done. <laughs> so today she's probably gonna have all day and I think she's gonna have hopefully an easier time getting at least underneath the washer and dryer painted fully so that we can put the washer and dryer yeah, back. Yeah. Um, and then if she gets the rest of it painted, huge bonus. Then we're gonna get the doors made. The problem is that we have to clamp the doors for a considerable amount of time for the glue to dry, and we have eight doors to make, or six doors to make. And so, Whose fault even is that? if. That we have six doors? Yeah, you could me, I designed made it. Two doors. Well, no. We're gonna have to clamp those. Hopefully, they dry, and then we gotta sand them. And so, I think today and tomorrow, we're gonna be working on these stupid doors again. So, I guess I'm off to the shop. But in the meantime, we have leftover. Labakuken, chicken cookies. Leave my Labakuken alone. <laughs> oh my gosh, Trent. It is such a disaster in here. I know. Those are our blinds, our power blinds. Yeah. Are here. I don't remember if we've told you guys or not. Oh yeah, the ones that are as expensive as the house. That's going to be like a two week project. That's going <laughs> to take a long time. Because not only do we have to like wire up and install all of the like brains and the networking that controls all the blinds in the basement. Mm -hmm. Then we have to go and install and wire all of the blinds in every single window. Do opening. you remember Pinky and the Brain? Yeah. It's Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain. brain, brain. brain. <laughs> what are we going to do today? Same thing we do every day, Pinky. <laughs> Try to take over the world. All right, dogs and wife and baby. All right. Have yourselves a lovely day. Bye bye. 
Love you guys. Love you. All right, Trent is off. Hopefully uh, his day goes well. Mr. Leo Boy just had a beautiful little breakfast. We're trying to really focus on wake windows and wake times. The pattern is eat, play, sleep, repeat, forever. So he just ate, we're gonna play a little bit, get him nice and tired, and then as soon as he can go down for his first morning nap, we're gonna get started painting in the living, uh, in the bathroom, not the living room. So in the meantime, we gotta think of ways to tire him out. Oh, Leo, is that why you were being so quiet? I'm guessing it's all over me. Thank you. The joys of parenthood. How was that? Is that your baby? Frank. Is this your baby? Oh. Frank completely does not care that Leo exists at all. He doesn't really notice him. Oh, wait. You're noticing him right now. That's good. That's very rare. Lika, however, has claimed Leo as her baby. She isn't like super protective, defensive to the point where we need to be concerned about it becoming aggressive toward other people, but she's just very curious and very interested and wants to smell and lick him at every opportunity. And we have to be like, Lika, calm down. Like, you're gonna hurt him. <laughs> but it's super cute. And uh, I think it's nice for Leo to be around animals and get used to them so that when he gets a little bit older, he's not scared of dogs because they're basically three times his size and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, well, I met Brandon down here at our favorite Home Depot location and we picked up enough poplar to build those doors one more time. So we've got them secured in the bed and we're heading down to the van build business. We're gonna get these things set up and hopefully we can get it all done today, but we'll see how it goes. All right, it's uh, 11 a.m. Leo is asleep. We gotta take advantage of this time and get as much work done as possible. I have no idea how long he'll nap for. Hopefully an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And in the meantime, I've barely gotten the corners all painted. It would probably be smart of me to be really thorough and do another uh, coat of paint in all the corners before I start rolling on the walls of each of these cupboards, but I don't think I have time to do that. So I'm just gonna put on a first coat of paint inside the walls and Hope I have enough time to get all of it done before he wakes up. All right, so we made it to the shop. This is just gonna be a lot of math and cutting and trial and error until we get these little tongues and grooves perfectly set to where they're gonna accept our quarter inch plywood nice and snug, and then just a little bit of glue is gonna hold these doors together. They're gonna be flat and square, and they're not gonna be twisted. The router, I think, is the, you know, the good traditional way to do this, but the router bit is not the exact thickness of our filler material. So that's gonna pose a problem, and we're gonna do it a different way. We're gonna do it on the table saw. And we have a nice, flat, beautiful table saw that's gonna make this really easy, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. So one saving grace that we do have is that we have all of these pieces that we cut last time and although they are cut wrong, I can at least use these scrap pieces to use as test pieces to try and figure out our tongue and groove and make sure that it's absolutely perfect before we even touch our final pieces that are going to be cut. I've measured out all the sizes that we need. They're all perfectly cut already so we just have to mimic the sizes or repeat the sizes that we cut last time with a brand new fresh blade. They're gonna be nice and square and perfect and just extremely proper. And uh, now we're gonna set up our fence and try and make our uh, tongue and our groove cuts and hopefully it turns out beautifully. The easiest way to do this is to just set up as close as you think you've got it and then run it through a couple times and try and test fit the pieces. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so that was really quick. Basically, I did one pass and the board was still a little bit loose. I did a second pass and now it's so tight, there's absolutely no wiggle room in there. This is exactly what you want when you're building cabinet doors like this. Okay, I've gotten two walls done. 
in about 20 minutes. Not, not too bad. The problem is really what we want to try to accomplish today is the cavity where the washer and dryer fit. So we can at least put the washer and dryer back in its spot. And we moved it the other day so that we could do some laundry. And now it's too tight to get in between behind it. I can put like my hand in here. So I need to get back in here to paint this wall and then up there as well. So I'm gonna have to move this precariously stacked washer and dryer by myself. So easy. What am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong, Lika? Ah, help me. It's because I'm slipping. That's annoying. your nap. What are you doing? Hi. Yes, a happy boy. Well, work is paused for the moment. I'm going to feed Leo, play with him a little bit. Hopefully Trent is making more progress than we are over here. All right. And just like that, in basically no time at all, we got all of the grooves cut. So now there's going to be some intricate math that we're going to have to do to try and adjust the saw because we're going to have to make widthways cuts like this and then cuts like this on each side of the groove so that we can make a tongue on the end and this needs to be perfect I'm a little nervous <laughs> All right, so now that I've got it dialed in on what the two passes have to look like to make our tongue, I've got it dialed in about as perfect as it's gonna get. There's probably like a, a 30 second or 3 64ths of wiggle room in there, which is like just enough for glue. So you put some glue in there, compress that, squeezes the glue out, you wipe it. These doors are gonna be the most professional looking doors any of us have ever seen. Let's just put it that way, okay? And so now these eight and four, so these 12 pieces are gonna get a tongue on each side. But if you look in there, our, our cut that goes this direction goes deeper than our cut that goes this way. And that's because I just kind of cut off these ends so that we could test the tongue. But after we get all of these little uh, tongues cut on here, then we've got to dial in this cut so that it perfectly cuts those off so that the, the tongue is the perfect length. This is really fun, I enjoy this. breakfast these days it's super easy and it's so healthy it's just oatmeal however much you put in you double the amount of water and then I do a tablespoon of flax seed chia seeds hemp seeds and super grains which is like quinoa and buckwheat really good fiber really good protein um, it's great for milk production for moms that are nursing and it's also just a great way to start the day I like to add a little bit of maple syrup which is a delicious touch as well oh Leo 
Leo can't have any, but obviously he wants some too. Sorry, buddy, just wait a few more months. You know, we're not getting a ton done today because I don't wanna paint while I'm wearing Leo. I don't think that's good for him to breathe in. So I'm waiting for him to take a nap and he just doesn't really wanna nap right now. So instead of forcing him to nap, I'm just enjoying this time with my baby. And uh, as soon as he falls asleep, then I'll start painting again. And if that doesn't happen for a little while, that's fine. He's only gonna be this age once. So I'm just trying to savor it while we have it. <laughs> and so is Lika. <laughs> All right, so now I basically just scooted the fence over and lowered the blade down just a tiny bit so that I could take off these extra little legs that we have on the side, on the outside of our tongue. I did that on our test piece here and just basically eyeballing it, uh, I think I got it like perfect, so. So now that we've got them test fitted and they are looking so proper, I'm like so, so excited that we took the extra time to redo this. Uh, now we're going to fill these channels with glue and go ahead and insert our panel and put it in the clamp. In, in reality, this is like what we want. We want it to be snug as a bug in a rug. So that right there, when I was compressing this, and you could see a little bit of glue just kind of squeezing out of the cracks right there, that is exactly what we want. And voila! This is just one of the only times I feel like in my life where I've like tried really hard to make a project like perfect. And even though we've got five more doors to go, so I better not speak too soon, like this door is turning out to be literally almost as perfect as it gets. The grooves are perfectly centered. The, the panels are nice and tight. There's no cracks anywhere. All of the joints are just super, super tight and glued together perfectly. As soon as this glue is done drying and we pull it out of the clamps, we'll hit this thing with a sander and it's gonna look like a work of art. Mighty fine job, Trent. Wonderful. You too. Team effort. All right, well, it's got to dry and then we got five more. I'm about to put together the last door, the final door, and I'm going to glue it. We're going to clamp it, give it 30 minutes to dry, then we can load all these doors up into the truck and take them home. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to like put some paint on the doors and drill some hinges, maybe get them mounted. Hopefully Allie has done <laughs> A tremendous amount of painting at the house and uh, everything's gonna be ready for the doors and a little bit of paint tomorrow but we'll see I know she was having a little bit of trouble uh, moving the washer and dryer and I don't blame her because I can't really even move the washer and dryer by myself and I'm a huge really strong manly dude so for Ali to be able to move it would be really impressive to me um, Brandon and I could barely move the washer and dryer together so let's just say probably going to be some extra stuff to do tomorrow. It's been such a crazy day and on productive, busy days like today, we are exhausted by the end of the day and it's so nice knowing we can have a healthy, delicious, quick and easy meal by Green Chef. And Green Chef is the sponsor of tonight's video. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners with step-by-step -step instructions and pre-measured ingredients that save valuable time in the kitchen. We've been using Green Chef for about a year. Their recipes are dynamic and packed with flavor. They use high quality, clean ingredients you can trust that are seasonally sourced for peak freshness to make eating well easy and affordable with dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. All right, my love, dinner Ooh. is served. This looks incredible. 
I'm extremely ready to dig in. If you guys wanna try Green Chef, obviously you can see that their meals are absolutely delicious and they're super easy to make. We highly recommend them. And right now, if you guys click the link in our description or you go to greenchef.com and use code TRENTANDALLY130, you'll get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. So thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna dig in and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it's the next morning and these guys have wasted no time critiquing my paint job from last night. Right. What do you think? I would not hire you again. <laughs> Two out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> Good thing you're not paying her, huh? Seriously. I'm not saying I'm not grateful for my wife's contribution. I'm just saying it's not good enough. It's good enough for I, what it is. I don't disagree, let's just say that. <laughs> Allie has a... She I was has rushing. A, she has a tendency to wing it, much like myself and Brandon, we like to wing it also. Um, but I don't know how to explain it. I'm just going to put so. it this way. Someone has to be the brains and someone has to be the brawn. And I have the vision and then Trent operationalizes that vision into a reality. And that's the way our roles have traditionally worked and that's what we're good at. And I'm going to leave it that way. <laughs> Allie's just a little better behind the camera than she is behind the paintbrush. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get these back in there, so we're just going to do our best. See, I made this cabinet the perfect size. Yeah? For Brandon's hand to stick through the, the yeah. little hole? Barely fit. That's the face right there. That's the blind guy. <laughs> ah! Success? Yeah. Alright, alright. Wow. Out. Watch out. Come on. Look at that uneven paint back there. Don't get me started. That's <laughs> absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh, she was off to me. Okay, now. Go. Oh. Allie? Yeah. Look above the dryer. Shoot! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but I can see this. I thought that you wouldn't be able to see past a couple inches up there, but it turns out you can see basically the entire bottom upper part of the cabinet. So all I said to Ali was, hey, if you do nothing else, just paint this wall and under here. Yep. And she painted a little bit of there, and then she just went crazy and started doing sponge painting over here or whatever <laughs> this is. Oh man. Let's just say you would be buying everybody lunch if we were on the job site. I can just buy everybody lunch anyway. <laughs> There's a lot of excuses that I could come up with uh, about why it didn't get painted correctly. Let's just ignore those excuses, move past them and uh, get this done the right way. All right, so these are the cabinet doors that we made yesterday. They turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm super, super happy and impressed with how they came out. And basically, I'm gonna take them outside, get all the edges sanded so that they're nice and perfect and smooth and there's no ridges or anything like that. And then once they're sanded, I'm gonna paint them. And then we're gonna paint the face frame drill spots for some hinges and these things will be ready to go on. How are the doors coming out? Oh, really dusty. Yeah, getting all the dust off right now with this, this here damp rag so that uh, when we get back we can paint the face frame and paint these doors. Uh, basically just gotta throw hinges on them and mount the hinges and we're done. Okay. Alrighty then. We have all of the doors sanded. They're all looking so nice and smooth and beautiful. I got them all cleaned up with a wet rag to get all the sawdust off. They are ready for paint. So Brandon got most of the inside of the cabinets painted in here. So we uh, ran out of our first can of paint, but he got quite a bit done. He also painted uh, above and behind the washer and dryer. We got the washer and dryer put back in its place. The drain is connected. Those are operational and ready to go, which is good because all my socks and all my underwear and everything are dirty because we haven't been able to do laundry for, I don't know. We probably needed to do it like the day that we pulled the washer and dryer out. So now it's been like a couple days since I've really needed laundry to be done. 
But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Brandon and I are heading to Home Depot to get some putty and some caulk to uh, make this as perfect as can be. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna paint the rest of these cabinets, we're gonna paint the doors, maybe get some hinges and some, uh, some cabinet poles mounted and get these doors hung today. That would be a tremendous amount of progress and I would be really happy about it, but we'll see. I'm always shooting for the stars and falling in the clouds. We've got some putty, some other type of putty, some quick drying paint or caulk that's a uh, paintable caulk, and then uh, some new rollers, and we got door handles or cabinet pulls. These are gonna go on the actual doors after we're done. Laying some plastic down there on the floor. We're gonna take all these doors in there and paint them on the floor and then flip them over and paint the other side. Hopefully I can get enough coats on these to make them look good today. And then I can drill the holes for the hinges. I bet we get all this painted and we don't assemble it today. That's my guess. But well, that would be really close. At least in the next video, we'll get to throw some hinges on and slap everything together and it'll look beautiful. a couple of the last corners in here. I got a, two solid coats on the four small doors. I haven't done any paint on the big doors. And we're, getting, we're getting close to calling it a day. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm hungry. Got a lot of stuff going on this afternoon that can't tell you guys about yet. But basically, tomorrow, or in the next video, I'm gonna finish painting these two doors we're gonna drill all the holes for the hinges. We're gonna mount these doors, put poles on them, and they'll be done. Because basically all of the inside of the cabinet and the face frame is all painted. I did a terrible job, there's paint everywhere. I painted the ceiling, it's a different color. It looks like garbage, but guess what? It's okay. better than I could do. I don't care. I'm gonna wait for Brandon to, to finish painting these corners and then I'm gonna offer him some Leibekuchen. Hey. We're gonna let him pick whatever kind of Leibekuchen he wants. Leo heard you talking, can you not whistle ever? Leo heard you talking about cookies and woke himself up. That's my wife. <laughs> could, you, good. could you not whistle ever, she says. <laughs> and I whistle all the time. So basically that means I hate you. No. <laughs> so Brandon is finished up. I'm gonna show you guys here a little bit of what it looks like. These are our four cabinet doors. They are painted. Now, the idea of the type of doors that we did, how you join them and you compress them with the clamps and then you sand them. It's so that like once they're painted and they're fully assembled, you can't even really tell which is the top and which is the bottom and where the wood begins or ends, like where the seams are. When you look at like this piece right here, you really can't tell which direction those boards are going. And I think that that is mission accomplished. Five out of the six doors turned out pretty much perfect. One of them, you can see which way the wood is going and I'm upset, of them. I'm upset about it, but it's fine. It's looking proper. I'm super happy with it. And now, as a little bit of a treat, now that we're done with the, the cabinets, we're gonna let Brandon pick a Leibekuchen. Yeah, so go ahead and open, open the Pirates of the Caribbean chest. I don't even know where to begin. One of the big chocolate ones that are good. That's Coca Coca Laka Leibekuchen. It's a chocolate Leibekuchen. I want one of these things. Yeah, open it up. I am not even gonna attempt that. Find Gemisch yeah. Nürburgring Olaten Leibekuchen. <laughs> what he said. Let me know how I did, German people. All right. Okay. Oh, you went for the white one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How is it? Oh, delicious. Describe it for somebody that's never had one. It's like a soft gingerbread cookie. Mmm. Not the best way I could describe that. 
has like frosting on it, it's good. It's really good. Nice. Now, previously we had a lot of people ask like where they could get one of these boxes, where they could get some German Leberkuchens and stuff like that. And uh, the truth is I don't know, but I'm gonna find some for you guys and I'm gonna put them in the description of this video and there should be a link down there um, where you guys can find some Leberkuchens if you guys are interested in trying them. You thank me later. <laughs> Brandon and I uh, took down a couple of Leberkuchens and they were absolutely delicious. And Leo just took down half a bottle and Lika. and now Lika's trying to get the other half of, of uh, Leo's bottle. Lika loves breast milk, believe it or not. She is always after the bottle. She's always trying to lick the nipples. You're a bad dog. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat that. She likes coffee too. I yeah, know. She and she that. likes coffee. Yeah. And straws. Okay. You're a good dog. Mm -hmm. You're a good dog. Anyway, I think we are probably going to wrap it up for the day. We did not get nearly as far as I thought we were going to get on uh, the built-ins in the laundry room. Mark my words, in the next video, <laughs> we're going to finish painting the doors. We're going to get all the hinges mounted. We're going to get all the cabinet poles put on. And that room will be completely finished other than the paint touch-ups that we have to do because of the mistakes that I made today. Nice, not bad. Allie, I, Leo, and Brandon, and Lika, and Frank, wish you all well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed our video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote and you just laugh. We better have a talk, think it might last until it's dark when the candlelight starts.